triangles. There are many different types and many different ways to describe them. Let's have a look at the different types of triangles and how we describe them. So to start off, what is a triangle? A triangle is a three-sided polygon, like this one. What is a polygon? A polygon is a flat, um, two-dimensional object with straight sides and is a closed figure, okay? That can be drawn on a flat surface like this one, okay? If you could draw it on a whiteboard or a piece of paper or a blackboard and it's a closed figure with straight sides, it is a polygon. And a triangle is a polygon with three sides. And let's have a look at the parts of a triangle. Okay, we have the corners here. The corners are called the vertices. If we're just talking about one, then we say it is a vertex, okay? Plural and singular. The sides more technically are referred to as edges, okay? So we have three edges and three vertices. Within the vertices, we have angles, okay? These are the internal angles of a triangle, and there are three. And while we're talking about the interior angles of a triangle, you may have heard that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, which means this angle plus this angle plus this angle will always be 180 degrees for every triangle. You may have heard this, but why is it so? Let me explain. I just drew this construction line here and I've drawn it so that it's actually parallel to this opposite side over here, the opposite edge of the triangle. Okay, so this line and this line are parallel, meaning they'll never meet. And if I call the interior angles of this triangle A, B and C like so, Hopefully you know that with your parallel lines and an intersecting line called a transversal, this angle here is equal to this angle here. So I can write an A down here, okay, because these two angles are alternate. Same over here with the C. I can write the C down here because this angle and this angle are alternate. And alternate angles in parallel lines are equal. And here we have a straight line, a straight uh, edge, a straight angle, okay, and all straight angles are 180 degrees which means these three angles here, A plus B plus C, must equal 180 degrees. Okay, and lo and behold, the angles A, B, and C are the angles in the triangle. Okay, so in any triangle, this angle A plus B plus C will always equal 180 degrees. There are many different ways of classifying and describing triangles. Let's take a look at a few. One type is called the scalene triangle, and a scalene triangle has no two sides equal. Okay, all the side lengths are different. So to show that in this situation, I'll draw something like this happening. Okay, one stroke, two stroke, three strokes to show that no two sides are equal here. And that would also mean that all three angles are not equal as well. So that symbol, that symbol, all three different symbols here. And with the scalene triangle, the largest side is always opposite the largest angle. So looking here, I think that's the largest side. That's probably the largest angle. Okay, and the smallest side maybe this one, okay, and that would be the smallest angle. Another type of triangle is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal. So to show that I might do this symbol and this symbol. The third symbol is probably different from these two, so I'll just put a single stroke there. And it can be proven for an isosceles triangle that where we have two sides equal, of course, the two base angles down here are also equal. That can be proven, but we're not gonna prove it today. Okay, so these two sides are equal, these two angles are equal, and uh, that's just a different angle there and a different side there. Okay, the isosceles triangle. Another type of triangle is the equilateral triangle. And with an equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal. This, this, this are all the same length. And with an equilateral triangle, it can be shown that these angles are all the same. So what I might do is just call them all x, x, and x, because it can be proven that all the angles are equal, okay? We're not gonna do the proof of that here, but from that, we can deduce that all three angles are 60 degrees each, okay? So it's 180 divided by three, okay? Angle sum of a triangle is 180. But just to show why, x plus x plus x must equal 180 degrees. Adding that up, three x is 180 degrees, okay? And dividing that by three, Okay, that will cancel out, leaving us with x equals 60 degrees. So each of these angles here is 60 degrees, like so. If we are told that all three angles of a triangle are equal and we're told nothing about the sides, then it is the same triangle, but in that situation, it's probably better to call it an equiangular triangle. 
Equiangular triangles will always be equilateral, and equilateral triangles will always be equiangular, okay? It just depends on the information you're given as to how you'd first describe it. Another common triangle is the right angle triangle, okay? Or it's quite often called just a right triangle. One of the angles is 90 degrees like so, okay? Usually just put the little box there to 90 degrees. Or you could write 90 degrees itself if you like, okay? The right angle triangle or right triangle. If each angle in a triangle is less than 90, in other words, each angle is an acute angle, then you can describe the triangle as being an acute triangle, like this one. If it turns out that one of the interior angles in your triangle is larger than 90, in other words, it's an obtuse angle, then you could say your triangle is an obtuse triangle. Now that we know all those ways to describe triangles, let's try an example here. Example one, we're gonna classify the triangles here. Okay, we're gonna describe them using as much detail as possible. Let's try the first one. So we have a triangle here and we have two different angles, 25 degrees and 130 degrees. Okay, it looks like it's scalene and one of these angles is obtuse. Okay, 130 is greater than 90. So we've got an obtuse scalene triangle here, don't we? It's not scalene. Well, what else could it be? Scalene means that the three angles are all different. Are you sure that's the case here? Oh, okay, well, let's see if we can figure out what this angle is. I'll call it x, and x plus 25 degrees plus 130 degrees must equal 180 degrees, right? Okay, angle sum of a triangle is always 180. Uh, bring these two together, that's going to be x plus 155 degrees is 180. So x is going to be, subtract this to 180 minus 155, 7, 10, 5, 2, X is 25 degrees. Oh, you're right. So this is 25 degrees down here as well. So in other words, uh, this angle and this angle are equal. We actually have an isosceles triangle, okay, which means that this side and this side are equal. Oh, so we don't have a scaling. We have an obtuse isosceles triangle. Oh, okay, now we've got it right. That's more like it. Over to B, we have a triangle with all three sides equal. Well, that's pretty easy. That's an equilateral triangle. Okay, uh, straight forward, that is. Um, so all the angles are going to be 60 degrees. I'm not going to say it's an acute equilateral triangle because there's no such thing as an obtuse equilateral triangle. Okay, so an equilateral triangle. And because all the angles are going to end up being 60, you could also call that equiangular. But since the information we're given is only about the size, I'm going to describe it as equilateral only. Looking at C now, okay, we have a triangle with three different side lengths. So this time we've definitely got a scalene. Uh, is that a right angle? It looks like one, but we're not given that information. So we can't actually say that it's right angle just because it looks like it is. We can't assume it. So I'm just going to say it's a scalene triangle, okay? Um, and we can't. Because we don't know this angle, we don't know if it's acute or obtuse either. So scalene is all we can say, okay? We can't say any more about that one. Scalene. The last one over here, D, okay? We have a triangle with three different side lengths, okay? 10 feet, 8 feet, and 6 feet. So this is definitely scalene. And this time, we definitely have a right triangle, okay? A right angle triangle. So this is going to be a right angled uh, scalene. Okay, right scalene or right angled scalene. I say right angle because I'm Australian, okay, but right angled scalene or right scalene. There we go. Do you now feel confident about describing triangles? Good, it's now your turn. Please try example two. Using what we've learned, describe these triangles as much as you can. A, you've got two angles here, 60 and 70. B, you've got two sides, both equal to 1.5 meters. Hmm. C, you've got three angles here and they're all 60 degrees. Hmm. And D, it looks like you've got a right angle here with two equal sides. What would you call that triangle most accurately? Remember to share your answers in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.